I think that um, it was a reaction that you know we had in many countries in Latin America uh, of actually not seeing as much horror movies or fantastic movies as we wanted and in different countries you know there was a lot of people like you know me and so many other filmmakers that we were feeling very frustrated about the fact that you know in in many of those countries it's it's something bad actually or it was at least considered something bad to make genre movies you're supposed to be making films that are socially important movies or on the other hand you have like very liked comedies but there's nothing else in the middle there's not a lot of you know exploration of genres i think and now it's a it's kind of a golden age for this latin new latin american horror cinema uh because we're starting to see you know many filmmakers are starting to really uh become more you know more professional and and they start to you know have more more tools to create uh, you know, an impact on the audience. I think that for every country it's been, it's been like a very slow process of learning because I think that, you know, it's, there are two things that happen in, with Latin American genre. One is that you have to create everything from, from zero, basically. It's like there's no tradition of these kind of movies, so how do you translate that to your culture? How do you, you know, appropriate those concepts, those ideas to your culture, that's a very, a very difficult thing, you know, and, and the other thing is uh, how, how do you create an audience for that, how do you, you know, really get somewhere with your, with your movies. Um, so I think that it's been, you know, a slow process of learning, uh, lots of mistakes, myself included, <laughs> you know, lots of things that, you know, uh, but I think that there are important parts of this of this process. I think that it would be very difficult for me to choose one film only of the program because in the program I actually try to include my favorite films of of uh, that era. But I would say that if I had to choose, if I was really really forced to choose just one, I would say that it's Poison for the Fairies, the uh, film by Carlos Enrique Taboada. Uh, the master of uh, Mexican horror cinema. Um, Taboada made just a, a few horror films. He was a director who made many kinds of, of genres. And he made just a bunch of horror films, just a few. And the last one that actually became the last film that he ever released um, was Poison for the Fairies. It was a big, big commercial flop in Mexico and unfortunately it's a film that uh, nobody outside Mexico really has seen. Uh, I've been working a lot with, uh, with Morbido Film Fest in Mexico uh, who were, you know, uh, who have been like trying to, to um, put out the name of, of Taboada and we've been working a lot and you know we've been doing a lot of stuff to actually show the audience uh, the amazing films that Taboada made and specifically Poison for the Fairies because I feel that it's one of the best uh, not only not only the best Latin American horror film uh, but I would dare to say that it's one of the best horror films ever made I personally have it like on my top 10 top 20 depending the, the day. <laughs> I have it there among my, my favorites. Uh, it's, a, it's a really uh, amazing film that I, I think that the audience at NIF shouldn't, shouldn't lose the rare opportunity of see that film. Most of these films have probably never been shown in Europe before. Uh, many of these films haven't been shown um, probably outside their countries. Uh, so I think that it's a, an opportunity that film, uh, horror film fans shouldn't miss at all. Like one of the films, for instance, I had to do myself the subtitles because they, they don't exist. It's a